this is going to be a part two on the first on the first part we made the micro mini Red Bull on this one she's already cutting we're using two um, Arizona tea and she marked out with Sharpie the vent holes, but the bottom of this one is already out. Now she's going to move on to part two and before the video she marked her lines out and we used um, two tuna cans. Part of the reason why is um, they're slightly shorter than the Pathfinder canteen cup stove. So the assembled stove will be slightly taller than this and will fit nicely right under this stove. You can see pretty good height there. Sometimes the can's hard to pierce with the scissors, so you can make a preliminary cut with a utility knife. Right now she's just rough cutting it. And then in a little bit she'll use a straight edge and mark precise sharpie marks. Then she made her vertical cut. Now, just like on the other one, she's going to fit two pieces together and put two staples in. With these larger diameter cans, it's easier to fit a stapler between the center. As you can see there, she's almost finished with the stove. Now she's going to fit together the upper and lower parts and this is probably one of the most time consuming and frustrating parts. Which I got right away. Yeah, and then Did you get some dents in there? Yeah. So I, I, I see them. Well, they're on that side. On the upside. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit of dent. Now, as you fit the two pieces together, make sure the 
top side of that inner wall lines up with the lip of the top can. So now most of the stove is complete, now all she has to do is punch the vent holes on the top. Hey, real quick, um, hold the tack with a needle nose, like right in the middle part, and then see if you can just line it up with each one and tap like this. Next one. Let's see if I can get this. Um, we're doing it a little bit different on this one. It does kind of require two people, but we're using a pair of needle nose. And we're using the tack as a mini punch. And then hold it. Yay. You can see vent holes pretty easy. At the bottom of the can, you can see the two notches cut out. And pull it straight out. Right. As you can see, it fits underneath there. About an eighth inch of clearance that way. You have a little bit of airway. But that's making a pop can a call stove using an Arizona green tea, uh, two cans. And it will probably hold about eight, eight ounces of fuel, which will give you quite a bit of burn time.